Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Here we are in a Wednesday night worship service, and there's no place I'd rather be. Hallelujah. Just worshiping the name above every name, our master, our Lord, our Savior. Hallelujah. Say his name with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know when you say his name, Holy Spirit inside of you is just jumping up and down. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Victory. Say that word with me. Victory. Hallelujah. Victory. There is no greater name, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father God loves us. Hallelujah. He loves us. He's head over heels in love with us. He is for us. Amen. All because of Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. That Father God, God Almighty, creator of the heavens and the universe, is head over heels in love with you. All because of Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I mean, th those are moments right there where we could just sit for thousands and thousands of years just meditating on that. Right? In the presence of God Almighty, just thank you. Thank you. I just want to say thank you so much for your anointing, your life of worship. That you made the choice to rejoice. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. He's the only one good. Amen. Just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. We choose to rejoice. Amen. And I'm just so thankful for what God has in store for us tonight. I'm excited. I pray that you're excited as well. Hallelujah. Remember, it's a choice to be excited. Glory to God. I, and I get, Hallelujah. Just hit that pause button. Right? It's those moments where, listen, we need to get our minds right. We need to get our hearts right. Amen? Say it with me. I am an eternal soul. Hallelujah. I am the temple of Holy Spirit. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And just right there, praise God. I pray you did that with me. Amen? But just right there, it's just... Hallelujah. Rejoice. Glory to God. That this isn't life. Amen. This isn't. But guess what? We are charged to do a mighty work through Christ our Lord. And that is to show. Amen. To show agape. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give whoever you're with a high five. Praise the Lord. If you're not with anybody, give yourself a high five. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful. I am so thankful. Thank you so much, church family, for just praying. Amen. I pray that every evening, 8 o'clock, you're dropping on your knees, praying. Hallelujah. I pray that we're praying always. Amen. Pleading the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pleading the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Getting our oil out. Remember, our oil. Amen. You don't have oil. I know you have oil. If you don't have oil, you got butter or something. Bless it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless it. Holy Spirit, this is your blood because you know what I'm about to do. God already knows. Why? Because he's already unctioned you. He's already put it in you to go. Anoint each other. Amen. Anoint yourself. Anoint your loved ones. Anoint your children, your pets. Anoint the house. Amen. This is the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's time to fight, church. Amen. And I pray that we are... We are praying, we are praying just constantly. And, and I pray that we are just giving everything to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, before we get started, we're going to pray. As you see over my shoulder here, the title of this message is Just a Hint. Just a Hint. Now I confess to you and I need prayer as we go through this worship service because I was hoping that Pastor John would preach this message. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> and, and once again, we're just children of God. Amen. And I pray I make our Heavenly Father laugh. Glory to God. I pray many of you laughed at home. But um, it, it's, it's a heavy message. Amen. And glory to God, I know where we're at. Hallelujah. I know where we're at. I pastor God's holy church. Amen. I am so thankful. I am so thankful to be surrounded by the anointing of Holy Spirit in God's beloved children that choose to worship Lord Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth. Can I get an amen? That you chose that I'm going to live my life as a sacrifice unto you, Lord Jesus. And hallelujah, that is the anointing. 
that God has us in right now. And that is where that is where Holy Spirit wants to drive this message home to his holy church, but then for all who have ears to hear, to receive it. Amen. Do that with me. Reach out like you're grabbing. And God said, you just grab a handful of blessings. Amen. Some of you using two hands. And you just bring it into the temple in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we are eternally thankful to only you. Lord Jesus, it's all because of you. And Father, as I plead your blood, I thank you, Father God, that your mercy overflows, Father, and that your grace abounds, Father. And so, Holy Spirit, as we bless you, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we lift up your name, and you are blessed with the name above every name, that every tongue will confess, that every knee will bow, Father, that Jesus Christ is Lord, that, Father, you are God and God alone, and that you are glorified. And Father, I, right now I just rebuke me, I rebuke you, Joey. Heavenly Father, I am just your mouthpiece in everything, Father God. You have all the glory, honor, and praise. I'm not worthy, Father. But I know, Lord Jesus Christ, you're the only one worthy. And I thank you, Father God, for this honor to worship you, to be your mouthpiece, and to worship you with your beloved church, Father. We are one body in you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, as we plead your holy and precious blood, we bind up every demonic thing, every foul thing, Father God. And we know, Holy Spirit, that your anointing is loosed. We know, Father God, that your anointing flows through us, goes before us, and destroys the plots of the enemy. And we know, Father God, that God's hand, your hand, Father, pushes evil far, far, far away from us. And it's in Jesus Christ's name that we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So the books that we're going to be into is in Matthew 12, verse 30, 32. And this is, this, is the, this is the foundation in which God built upon and what, what Lord Jesus Christ wants to make sure that, um, that we echo what he taught when he was physically here, when Agape was physically here in Jesus Christ and how he spoke this. Amen. And then after that, we're going to go into Ephesians, and you could tell 1 Thessalonians and 2 Corinthians. So basically, we're, we're going to go into the written word from the living word, Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God, spoken, amen, from agape, hallelujah, into the atmosphere. And how the apostle Paul took, amen, the living word, the anointing, say that with me, anointing. Holy Spirit, hallelujah, Holy Spirit, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, that same Holy Spirit now, the same Holy Spirit that wrote the good book through all the apostles, amen, through all the disciples, come on now, through all the children of God, is the same Holy Spirit who lives in you and me, glory to God, amen, he is our author, he is our only teacher, amen, say with me, Holy Spirit, teach me, in Jesus' name, amen. So once again, we're going to get into the gospel. We're going to listen to what Agape said. Our Lord Jesus Christ spoke. In worship and transparency, we're going to allow Holy Spirit to minister. We're not going to take everything up here. My hand's right here because we are an eternal soul. Amen. And it's in this anointing in God's very presence that he ministers to us. He renews our mind, the word of God says in Romans 12. And then we're going to look in the church of Ephesus, Thessalonica, and the church of Corinth. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah? You ready? Say amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get into this. Praise God. Matthew 12, verse 30. Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. And so I tell you, every kind of sin and slander can be forgiven. But blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Amen. Say that with me. Blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Amen. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. That is the mercy of God now. You speak against the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ himself will say to the Father, forgive him. Well, listen, church family, but anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or the age to come. Amen? 
So, before we move on, Holy Spirit wants to address the new covenant church, us. When I say new covenant, there's the old covenant that Lord Jesus Christ fulfilled. Can I get an amen? Paid for. That's why Lord Jesus said paid in full. See, there's a misinterpretation of tetelestai. That's what Lord Jesus Christ said in the original, tetelestai, paid in full. There's a misinterpretation because many people just think, and that's what religion likes to do, that's what the enemy wants to do, for as far as confusion and trying to compromise the word of God. Say no more, hallelujah, no more in Jesus' name. Paid in full means, when Lord Jesus Christ said that, everything, every requirement of the past is fulfilled. See, Lord Jesus Christ didn't come from heaven to abolish, destroy the law. He did not. You know why? Because God is not double-minded. What God puts in place, God's a God of order. Amen. Say it with me. Amen. Order. Say that with me. Order. God is a God of order. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. And when God establishes his order, well, guess who comes? Agape. God is, God, God is not a God of chaos, right? So Lord Jesus Christ didn't come to destroy the law. He fulfilled it. Say that word with me, fulfilled. Amen? Fulfillment is when there's a debt owed, right? When, the, when, there's a, when there's a past due amount, right? When there's a bill, right? It tells you this is what you owe. And that is exactly what all of the law was. This is what we owe God. We owe God. And guess what? We were just, we were just worse and worse. We just kept on driving more and more debt. And the enemy, in his greed, was like, ha ha, yeah, keep doing it, right? The enemy loved it because it's like, yeah, keep putting more bondage on yourself. Look at you guys. Can't even function as a nation, let alone a people. Look at you guys, right? And then here comes Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give God praise, amen. Here comes agape, amen. Here comes our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. And he fulfilled the law, paid in full. That's why, beloved church family, there's an old covenant, an Old Testament. If it wasn't fulfilled, it wouldn't be old. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? But you'll find, you'll find many religious, and I'm talking about just, just bound up. They're just struggling because they want some of this and they want some of that. Listen, just give me Jesus. Can I get an amen? Give me Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So I love this because anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ says, will not be forgiven either in this age or in the age to come. Sin is no longer just sin. Amen. Yeah, I'm preaching that message right now. Many of us heard, oh, sin is sin, right? You have a lot of people say that, actually. When I'm ever confronted with that question, is sin just sin? I say, well, what are you doing? Praise God, be bold, family. You're not judging nobody. Let's talk. What are you doing? Well, I'm looking at pornography. That's sin. Well, why, why, why do you say it's sin? You're hurting Holy Spirit, ain't you? You got Jesus Christ as Lord? Yeah, well, you're hurting Lord Jesus Christ. God has nothing to do with that, right? And I don't want to jump ahead, but once again, Lord Jesus Christ came to fulfill the old. It's fulfilled. It's, it's dead and gone. Now we are the new covenant, covered by God's blood. Amen? Covered by grace, covered by mercy, forgiveness, redemption, sanctification. Hallelujah. Covered. Say that with me. Covered. Do you choose to stay covered under the blood or do you want to dabble into curses? Do you want to dabble into disobedience? Do you want to dabble into... See, that's between you and God Almighty now. But the Word of God clearly says, pick one or the other. There is no both. Can I get an amen? There is none. That's confusion. That's chaos. Amen? But when you say yes to Lord Jesus, say with me, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. When you say yes to Lord Jesus Christ... Hallelujah, Holy Spirit now comes on you. And guess what? It's now a relationship with God. 
the relationship that God always wanted from the very beginning. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So do this with me. Say it with me. Don't do it. Well, what are you saying, Pastor? Don't, don't do it. Don't speak against Holy Spirit. Don't quench Holy Spirit. Don't do anything to your body. Don't entertain thoughts that you know it's not God. Don't do it. Well, Pastor, how do I overcome that? Focus on Lord Jesus. Amen. Focus on Lord Jesus. Just be thankful for what Lord Jesus Christ did. Amen. Be thankful. Know. Know that everything that Lord Jesus Christ did on that cross is for you. It's for me. Praise God. Isn't it amazing that we can, we can know what Lord Jesus Christ endured on that cross? The lashings, the beating, getting spat on, getting his hair pulled out of his face, the crown of thorns, right? Getting speared. Think about it. All those things that we know, right? All those things. We know that he was stretched out on the cross, pulling his arms out of the socket, right? And it's these moments right here where Holy Spirit says, I want you to pause and just let everybody who has eyes to see and ears to hear, there is a hell. There is a devil. And how much more do you think we are held accountable as children of God when you know the price that was paid for you? When you know what our Lord went through? See, I pray that there's someone listening right now that it's like, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Lord. Father, forgive me. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me. I keep doing this thing, whether it's an addiction or perversion. I don't want it no more. Amen? Say it with me, no more. Hallelujah, no more. So we're going to go into... The New Covenant Church, amen? We're going to go into the book of Ephesians, praise God. In Ephesians 5, verse 1 and 2, it says, Follow God's example, therefore. We know when it says therefore, it's therefore reason, amen? As dearly loved children, as beloved of God, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God, amen? Can you imagine... That fragrance that God smelled when Lord Jesus said paid in full and laid it down. Could you imagine? Because God the Father, you have to keep in mind now, going through the torture that he went through as Father God. Could you imagine when he smelled that fragrance? Take a breath with me. He smelled that at the throne room of heaven, at his throne. And glory to God, it was a fragrance that he's never, ever smelled before. And it was the fulfillment of that law and the freedom of his spirit to now live in every beloved child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to look into this because we're talking about walking in the way of love. Say that with me. Agape, amen? Walking in the way of agape. Many of you know this because we've been going through this. We're going to go through this until we're raptured out of here in Jesus' name, amen? Why? Holy Spirit said so. Praise God. So we're going to do it. Amen? When your flesh dies, amen, you receive Lord Jesus Christ. Let's read. I am a member of the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, we just said that earlier, amen? Lord Jesus Christ loves me. Amen? Say that with me. God loves me. Hallelujah. Now you look at what takes place. Your body changes. Can I get an amen? Your old self is dead and gone. You, you are now resurrected. Well, what happens to your soul? Father God loves me. He is no longer a God that is distant. He is your heavenly father. He's my father. Amen. Say it with me, daddy. Amen. Daddy. Hallelujah. Daddy. And check this out. In the spirit, man, look what happens in the spirit, man. Holy Spirit loves and lives in and through me. Amen? This is the three-part being of what the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, right? Of the soul, spirit, and body. Amen? 
And this is how God wants us and charges us through the anointing. Say that with me, anointing. Through the anointing of Holy Spirit, God in you and in me. His expectation for a beloved child of God is simply rejoice. You're not going to hell. Hallelujah. You don't die. Rejoice. That is the simple charge God gives us as his beloved children if you have Jesus Christ as Lord. Yes, I said if. Because you have to have Jesus Christ as Lord in order to obtain Holy Spirit. Amen. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. On the screen here is, um, I love, I love guacamole. I love guacamole. Oh my goodness. It's one of my favorite foods. I know some of you are like, Ugh. I love it. I love it. And I love making guacamole. I, I mean, praise God. Trish and I, we, we make all our meals at home. Amen. We don't eat out. And I'm thankful for that. Holy Spirit, give us wisdom. Amen. And I love, I love making guacamole. And if you tried my guacamole, you would, you would taste the, the red onions, the cilantro. Uh, you would taste a little bit of chopped fresh garlic in there. Amen. And you would taste, of course, avocado, right? And then you would taste uh, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. You would, you, you would eat that, but then you would also say that there was a hint of something else. And may I, show, may I share that with you? This is the hint of what you taste. A little hint of lime. I just put a few drops, and I love this picture on the screen. I just put a few drops, just a hint, right? Just a, just a little hint of that lime. Oh, and it's absolutely delicious, right? And that's all it took was just a few drops. Amen? Can you say that with me? A few drops. Because it's just a hint. Right? Just a little hint. Amen? So Holy Spirit wants to just deposit that seed and that image and what we're speaking, right, in worship and how God just wants to bless us and how he wants to cleanse the temple of God. Amen? Say with me, cleanse me, O Lord. Say with me, change me, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Change me, Holy Spirit. In Ephesians 5, verse 3, it says this, But among you, there must not be even a hint, <laughs> amen, even a hint of sexual immorality, of any kind of impurity, or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Are you a holy child of God? Amen. Well, we're going to move all that over because God wants to show how this deception of the enemy this deception, remember, it's a distraction. That's what the devil has. The devil has distractions. He has no plan for your life. Only God can make a plan because God is God Almighty. He is the one that's in our tomorrow. Amen? The enemy is not. Hallelujah? The devil's not. God is the only one with the plan for your life, for my life. The enemy, all he has is distractions. Distractions. And this is what God wants to show, and in the next few verses, God is going to expose. How do we expose the enemy? Agape, amen, you said it with me, amen. It's the anointing of Lord Jesus Christ in every beloved child of God that His power, amen, say with me, God's power, God's power, say with me, God's light. God's light shines through you, amen. You're just merely the beloved child of God, amen. Hallelujah, don't you love that? Wherever you go. You just have God's light, God's power just shining through you. Amen? Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful? It doesn't matter what you're doing. God's light and His power is consistently going through you in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Give God praise for that. Amen? So sexual morality, any kind of impurity, any kind of greed, this is how Holy Spirit wants to break down the scripture and expose to you how the enemy wants to distract you. Say it with me, no more distractions in Jesus' name. You guessed it. Soul, flesh, and spirit. How does that translate? Right there. If you allow your flesh to, to, to start doing impure things, what takes place in your soul, in your mind, is you'll have sexual immorality. And then in the spirit, you just start getting greedy. It starts to lust. 
Amen? I told you this message is going to be heavy. However, at the same time as we worship, you know that Holy Spirit's flowing through us. Amen? And remember, we have to be transparent to God because God knows everything. Right? If you're sick, Lord Jesus Christ is healing. Hallelujah. So if you're dealing with something, and I'm not just talking about sickness as far as, you know, hurting or pain. I'm talking about something even, even worse than that. If there's spiritual sickness taking place, if there's perversion taking place, something's going on in, in, in this right here. God needs to hear you say, I am the body of Christ. You died for me, Lord. No longer will I think these thoughts. Father God, when these thoughts come, because I'm going to tell you they will come. In the name of Jesus, every time I get this thought, I'm going to give you praise, Father. I'm going to rejoice, Heavenly Father. I'm going to rejoice because you exposed what the enemy once put fear on me. Now there's no more fear. I rejoice because I have victory that only comes through your blood. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Now listen, family. I have friends. I have family. Listen, that are openly gay. They don't see nothing wrong with it. Hear me. I don't judge nobody. I'm just going to speak the word of God. There's some of you right now that have children. Right? Or maybe family member, maybe friends. Listen, don't allow yourself to adopt the devil into the Holy of Holies and in darkness to come in where you can't even hear the word of God and expose the enemy. Because God has you in their life to show agape. Amen. To continuously keep showing the anointing of Holy Spirit so that Holy Spirit who is hovering over them, you just keep speaking life. Amen. How do you speak life for somebody who openly wants to be perverted or do something like that? Listen, Jesus Christ died for you. Amen. Listen, I know you're frustrated. I know you think everything's good. All I ask is you just keep God first. Go to the Father. You say you're this way, you're saying, oh, all right, rather than you saying what you are, go to I am. Go to I am, and I am will bless you. But I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here, I'm not here to do any of that. But I am here to tell you, God loves you. Jesus Christ died for you. And Holy Spirit, if you have Jesus Christ as Lord, Holy Spirit lives in you. And the word of God says, do not speak against Holy Spirit. Do not quench him. You will not be forgiven. That's the word of God. Can I get an amen? So let's make sure that we encourage one another. Listen, iron sharpens iron. Amen? But last time I checked, when you, when you rub a sharp object against iron, it's actually taking metal away. Right? It's actually grinding. Amen? It's not like rubbing it on a, on a, on a pillow. Right? It's not, it's not rubbing it on, on, your, on your jeans. Right? Iron sharpened irons, it, does, it hurts. Can I get an amen? And what God is asking us to do is, is saying, look, enough with all the emotional garbage. Enough with being so sensitive. Enough with being, right? Come on now. Are you a child of God? Then fight for it. Amen? Fight. Glory to God. Rather than looking at other people and judging other people, it starts here. Amen? Some of the crunchiest people that I come across that wants to talk about other people, and I say crunchy because all they're doing is talking about, talking bad about their pastors or their church and all this stuff. I just tell them God loves them. And you know what happens? They just, mm, mm. they get mad. But it's the truth. Because you know why? I'm not going to be trapped in those kind of conversations. I rebuke that in Jesus Christ's name. Say it with me. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Bless Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Say that with me, church. Bless Holy Spirit. And this is how we bless Holy Spirit now. We don't allow things to come in. We don't allow it. But guess what? Those that allow it and they like it, they're trying to do that and compromise the gospel and try to say that, oh, it's okay. I'm going to tell you right now in Jesus' name, it's not okay. I have to preach this message because that trumpet is going off soon. Amen. And I have to do what Holy Spirit tells me to do. Amen. Because guess what? When I stand before my God, you're not going to be there going, well, God, I didn't want pastor to preach that because I get offended. Uh -uh. Ain't nobody going to own up to that. Even though God knows everything, ain't nobody going to say that. 
And glory to God, God says, you need to speak this because the time is coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Remember, I asked you to pray for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray for me. This message is going to get gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Verse 4. No should there be any obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of the place, but rather thanksgiving. See, God says, be thankful. Rejoice. See, many people ask me, how do I get that breakthrough? How do I get to that next level? Which I never really understood because guess what? There is no higher level than Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? But when I get asked that question, right away I tell them, be thankful. Well, I am thankful. Well, all I've heard was complaining. I'm not judging you, but just be thankful for Lord Jesus. Be thankful. God knows what you're going through, right? God knows what I'm going through. And the only one that can change my situation or circumstance, the only one that can change this world is God Almighty. Amen? And here God is saying, rather just be thankful. Amen? But listen, we're going to expose obscenity, foolish talk, coarse joking. You see those three arrows. Where did that go? Amen? So let's, let's, let's layer it on top of each other. Now in the flesh, you have impure impurity. You're doing things that are impure. To, supposed to be the temple of God, right? But you're doing things that's impure to the body. And now guess what? What manifests is foolish talk. What manifests is you just start speaking death. Maybe just start speaking curses, right? Look at that. As far as sexual morality, now obscenity. Thoughts of obscene things, right? His horrid, putrid, nasty things. And then next thing you know, because of the greed in the spirit, because what happens when, when a child of God is disobedient or in this illustration, someone who does not have Lord Jesus Christ, right? Because it's just the flesh, either or when we allow that to come in, it just dries up the spirit man. And when it dries up the spirit man, guess what? Holy Spirit is saying, if you're a child of God, you have Jesus Christ as Lord. Holy Spirit is saying, I need you to get into worship. I need you to start being thankful to Lord Jesus. I need you to start pleading the blood. I need you to get together, get to church. Come on now, family. Let's, let's man up. Let's woman up. For those of you who've been away from, from church, not counting this season, because we're being obedient to what the authorities put in place to bless our Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Say with me, be obedient. But I'm talking about the ones that you, you just live life and you just go to church maybe once every couple months. You and I both know, you even said it to me as your brother in Christ, I shouldn't be away. Ain't nothing good ever happens. I don't know why I keep doing it, right? And praise God, I don't judge you. I keep saying that because I don't. I just said, you know what? Just get with your wife. Get with your husband, right? Make a promise unto God. Get on your knees. Make a promise unto God. No more. We're going to hold each other accountable. Amen? Isn't it amazing that when we have a job, right, what holds us accountable to show up at that job? You need a paycheck. Would you be accountable to go to work if they didn't, if they didn't pay you? Right? My goodness, if you did, I, I don't know about you, but something's wrong. Show up at work and not, not work for anything? It's this. But isn't it interesting that so many people can quote, oh, the love of money is the root of, oh yeah, but it's the love of money that's the root of all evil. But yet, where are you in your relationship with Lord Jesus Christ? Remember, this is all for self-examination and just allowing agape to flow through you. Amen? I respect, I submit to the season that we're in. Hallelujah. We're all getting intimate with our families. I pray with God first. And I pray that we start changing the culture within the walls. Changing the culture within the house. Amen. Changing the culture. Get your family together. Bible study with them. It doesn't have to get all deep and complicated. No. You could just go through scriptures and just, just bless Holy Spirit, be thankful, and watch what Holy Spirit will do through you. Amen? But see, it's when the spirit man is, is, is just longing for worship. And if you're a child of God, Holy Spirit's telling you, plead the blood of Jesus, get back in the church. God, God speaks that way. 
Hallelujah, can I get an amen? Get, get planted. Come on, the enemy deceived you. You got crunchy. You know, that person hurt you. Forgive them. Let that go. That's Holy Spirit speaking now. Now, if you don't have Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that in this message right now, you say with me, Jesus Christ, you are Lord. I submit to you, Father. Forgive me, Father. I receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, be one in me. Be one with me. I, I, I hear what Brother Joey is speaking, and I want all of you, Father, just flowing in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. However you prayed it, right? There is no perfect prayer. I mean, however, you cried, maybe not even a word came out, and God knows. Hallelujah. You're saved by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. But when you speak of Lord Jesus Christ, immediately the Holy Spirit is making you accountable. Say that with me, accountable, in your relationship with him to worship, right? But it's when we are disobedient that guess what? We start oppressing Holy Spirit. And that's dangerous now. We don't ever want to do that. Because remember, you speak against Holy Spirit, blaspheme, you quench him, you'll never be forgiven. You'll never be forgiven. Whew. And if you don't have Jesus Christ as Lord, that illustration couldn't be more true. In the spirit man, where Holy Spirit's supposed to be, through Christ, only Christ, he's the only way now, what takes place? Demonic things. And those things are greedy. Those things want more. They're, they're, they're never satisfied. They just lust, lust, lust. And then that's how you have a soul that's just completely out of control. Amen? Verse 5. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, no impure, no greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has no inheritance of the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Christ. And where does these three go? You nailed it. Once again, Holy Spirit is exposing the written word, right, through the living word, in you. Say with me, in me. Holy Spirit is exposing it in me. So let's, let's, let's put a layer over this, all these things. Amen. Quick review. You have impurity going on in your flesh, foolish talk, impure thoughts, obscenity, right, sexual morality. What happens is now your soul starts craving it, right? Your soul starts to crave and guess what? Now the soul, the senses, and everything is trying to war, go to war with your flesh. So even if your flesh is trying to do good, trying to abstain, right? Trying to get away from something, your soul right now is just trying to... And then what happens? Because the spirit man, look at the spirit man. Everything coarse as far as joking, as far as lifestyle, the greed, it just manifests. And it's complete chaos and out of control. And this is what happens to a person that allows the enemy, yes, I said it, allows the enemy to come into the temple. This is what happens. You get crunchy. Let no one deceive you with empty words. For because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Beloved church family, right now we're living in a crazy, I know you know this, in a crazy world. And, and, and there's just all kinds of crazy doctrine and religion that is against the word of God, is against agape, it's against Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you right now, it's all about, it's all about speaking against Holy Spirit. Well, Brother Joey explained, any church, any church, any, and, and church is just gathering people that say that it's okay to, to, to be perverted, and to allow sexual things like this to take place, immediately is putting people in the pit of hell. It's immediately telling people, for, you, you, you do whatever you want, and you can just keep on worshiping. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, you got grace. You got grace. Grace has a name. His name is Holy Spirit. And remember, Holy Spirit, if you speak against him or do anything against him, you will not be forgiven. So if you're a part of whatever denomination, whatever, I don't care what it's called in the building. I don't care. All I care about is Jesus Christ, your Lord. Hallelujah. You say yes to that. Hallelujah. You have Holy Spirit as God. Amen. 
Because guess what? Not everybody can say that. No. I know mega, mega denominations, religions, churches that guess what? They think Holy Spirit's back then and they actually preach it. Wake up, church. Amen. Say it. Wake up. But glory to God, it's up to us as God's holy church to continue to show agape. Amen. To continue to live a life in victory. How does it start? Rejoicing. Praising, thanking God for Lord Jesus. Amen. Thanking God. And it's through agape in you that guess what? You will continue to rebuke demons. Holy Spirit will continue to cut the head off. And for those who have ears to hear, eyes to see, they will be attracted to agape. They will be open for you to pray for them. They will be open, right, to hear about your Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, above all, like Lord Jesus said, they'll be open for Holy Spirit impartation, amen, to come on them. And praise God, I speak it over you it's through the laying on of hands, amen, praying for them, lifting them up, praise God. Remember, Holy Spirit's hovering, hallelujah. All God is waiting for is his anointing. Say with me, I am anointed for you to speak the word, hallelujah, speak it. Let's, let's put that in practice right now. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, speak this, church family. No beloved of mine will be deceived of the enemy. Holy Spirit, your light shines through me and exposes all deception. Father, where I go, your word is already there. Lord Jesus Christ, this is all to give you glory, honor, and praise. All God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. For because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore, it's there for a reason, do not be partners with them. I get questions a lot about this, this, just this one, verse 7, about, well, Brother Joy, do you mean that I can't minister to them? No, you do what Holy Spirit says to, amen? Once again, you may have family, right? You may have family, children, whoever it is that are going through this struggle. The main important thing, beloved of God, is Jesus Christ their Lord. Hallelujah? Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah? And I pray many, I pray all of you say, yes, Jesus is their Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know why? Hope. Right? Hope. He has a name. Holy Spirit. God of hope. Amen. Holy Spirit will then, because you're speaking words of agape, you're speaking words with purpose, just like Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated as he walked this earth. You are worshiping with purpose and you are speaking into the atmosphere. No longer will my child be deceived in Jesus name. Father, I thank you. I thank you because I let go of this person. This person belongs to you. She is your daughter. He is your son. And Father God, she already has the living word. He already has the living word. And Holy Spirit, I thank you right now that as I speak your light to shine through them, let there be light. Amen. Hallelujah. Let there be light. Praise God. Amen. You see, these are those moments the Holy Spirit is addressing really sternly, as you can feel it, really boldly through his church to expose where the enemy is. And allow him, because God is the only one faithful, to extinguish that dart. Amen? But we have to let go. Hallelujah. Therefore, do not be partners with them. As for matters, brothers and sisters, as for other matters, we instructed you how to live in order to please God, as in fact you are living. Isn't that sweet of God? In faith, he's just saying, you're living gooder and gooder. Because you worship me, you bless me. Hallelujah. God's already been here at this time. Amen? Now we ask you and urge you in the, in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more for you know what instructions we give you by the authority, say that with me, authority, by the authority of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Where does the authority of Lord Jesus Christ reside? <laughs> Amen. You beat me to it. Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit in us. Praise God. It's God's will that you should be sanctified. Say that with me. Sanctified. That you should avoid sexual morality. That each of you should learn to control your own body 
in a way that is holy and honorable, not like passionate lust, not in passionate lust, like the pagans who do not know God. Amen? Now, church family, once again, if there is any person, remember, we're all just human beings. We serve one Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only Lord and Savior. Amen? His name is Lord Jesus Christ, the only perfect sacrifice, the only teacher is Holy Spirit. Amen? Listen now, family. If someone claims that they know God or they can do all these miracles, right? Because that's, that, that's trending now. All these miracles, more people are like all focus on all miracles rather than Holy Spirit. The only one that can save us. They're more focused on the blessing rather than the blesser. Can I get an amen? And Holy Spirit wants to draw this out and make sure that you understand because it's not only in the written word of God, but how Holy Spirit will seal us and protect us. Say it with me, protect me, Lord. That when somebody says that they claim to know Holy Spirit, that they know God, but yet they're in sexual immorality, is a liar. Passionate lust like the pagans who do not know God. Can I hear an amen? Like I said, to some of you, this message is going to hurt. And glory to God, I am thankful. I am thankful that it hurts. Because I'll tell you right now, there were seasons in my life where it hurt. A man, a woman of God brought the word. The anointing came on me and it hurt. Oh, did I get mad. Mm -hmm. I got mad. And guess what? Every time, glory be to Lord Jesus Christ, it took me on my knees and on my face, crying. I just pray that I did it faster. Amen? And glory to God. Hallelujah. I pray to all of us, as beloved children, as, as obedient children, that we drop faster, right? That we know, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Lord, forgive me, right? And hallelujah, the anointing. Say that with me, anointing. Hallelujah, his waves of mercy, of grace will overflow and flood you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I love this picture right here. God just wanted me to put this up here. First Thessalonians, remember, this is, the, the, this is the, the charge to the church now. Just like the charge God is giving us. Amen. Holy Spirit's giving us for Open Arms Community Church. Amen. I can only speak for this church because, hallelujah, God has ordained me and Pastor John to pastor his holy church. This is for Open Arms Community Church now. Listen, praise God. Not in passionate lust like the pagans. What's that passionate lust? Let's go over it. In the flesh, impurity, foolish talk, impure thoughts, obscenity, immoral sexual morality, in the spirit, coarse joking, greed, greedy person, all that right there, all that is, say it with me, it's crunchy. Crunchy. And then it sums it up. God says, who do not know God. Listen, they can preach whatever kind of message. They can have the best praise team. They can have a mega church. But you have to understand how the enemy works now. He's trying to deceive God's people to allow that darkness to come in, hoping to get rid of Holy Spirit. Say it with me. No more. No more. Say it with me. Stop. In Jesus' name, stop. Hallelujah. Oh, you could feel that. Hallelujah. You could feel it. In Jesus' name, stop. Say it with me. Not my house. For my house is covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Holy Spirit almost knocked me on my feet. Knocked me on my, on my butt. Now, Ephesians 5, verse 1 and 2 says this. Follow God's example. Therefore, hallelujah, it's therefore reason, as dearly loved children, as God's beloved, walk in the way of love. How do you walk in the way of love? Jesus Christ is my Lord. I'm a member of his body. Father God loves me. That's what you consistently think of. Amen. That's what your thoughts are. When the evil one tries to speak to you, immediately, God, you love me. You're for me. All because of you, Lord Jesus Christ. What happens to your spirit, man? Holy Spirit loves me. He lives in and through me. Glory to God. Amen. This is the sanctification and the power of God Almighty that flows through you, beloved child of God. Hallelujah. As a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Whew. As a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So we we're led back to this, right? And this is how you just get gooder and gooder. Amen. Say that with me. Gooder and gooder. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to leave that up there as we close in these last few scriptures. But thanks be to God who always leads us. Oh, can you, can you give God an amen? Amen. He leads us. Amen. He goes before us. Hallelujah. He's God Almighty. I pray in Jesus' name that spiritual eyes will come on you. And that you could see in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. All, all of God's armies, all of his angels around you. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God who always leads us as captives in Christ. In Christ's triumphal possession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. Right? The aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. What is the knowledge of him? The knowledge of him is Lord Jesus Christ left heaven. Because God is a God, a father that loves you. That he would give you his one and only son. So that if you received him, if you received him, if you openly received his sacrifice for you, his payment for you, you are now his child. And this is the child of his who has his Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit who left heaven from the Father God in the name of the only name, the only name, Lord Jesus Christ, the name above every name, and he now lives in you and in me. Hallelujah. This is the knowledge that God wants us to spread everywhere. It's not the knowledge of just trying to tell people or show off and tell people how many scriptures you know or what your opinion of the verse means. It has nothing to do with that. It's the ministry of re reconciliation. It's the ministry of, of telling everybody you come in contact with, God loves you. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Thank God, Lord Jesus Christ came, died for us, rose again, because we're not alone. Hallelujah. We live an abundant life all because Holy Spirit lives in and through us. Can I get an amen? Oh, hallelujah. Verse 15, 16. For we are God's pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. To the one we are aroma that brings death, to another we are the aroma that brings life. And who is equal to such a task? And you know this is all to the glory of Holy Spirit in you and in me. That agape, when agape shines, amen, it's encouraging to the body of Christ. And for those who are disobedient, guess what? Oh, man. Right? They don't receive it as judgment or condemnation. They receive it as, I want that. Amen? Don't you pray that's the case. Hallelujah. That when, that when a stranger sees you, that you don't know how long they've been running away from God. You don't know where they're at with the Lord. But when they see you, they just see agape. That when they look at you, it's nothing, it's, there's nothing prideful about it. It's just showing Holy Spirit. Amen? But when they look at you, they're saying, I want that. And that's the glory of God Almighty. When you know how much your Father God loves you. When you know how much Lord Jesus Christ loves you. And when you know how much Holy Spirit loves you. That we continue to breathe and live abundantly. All because Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Unlike so many, we do not peddle the word of God for profit. On the contrary. In Christ, we speak before God with sincerity as those sent from God. Amen? Say it with me. I am sent from God Almighty. Amen? Hallelujah. There is no, once again, there is no greater sacrifice than what God did, our Father God did through Christ, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There, there, there's no greater aroma than that perfect sacrifice that fulfilled every bit of the law. Freed us from that. Freed his spirit so that his spirit could live in you and in me. And now we are called, we are charged through the anointing of Holy Spirit to be that fragrant offering. Amen. Take a breath with me. Say it with me. Smells so good. Amen. And that's you. To God Almighty, that's you. That the way you live your life in giving Him thanks and choosing to rejoice, blessing Holy Spirit, and being obedient to God Almighty, we are that fragrant offering. Amen. Remember, beloved church family, remember the guacamole. 
I only put just a couple of drops and it was just a hint so you can taste it. And remember what God says, there should not be a hint, a hint of sexual morality, of greed, obscenity, coarse joking, impurity, right? So I challenge you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, that you would open yourself to the anointing and allow Holy Spirit to flow through you and examine. Say it, examine me, O Lord. And in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, only through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, that we crucify that, that we lay it down, and that we allow Holy Spirit to flow into the Holy of Holies. Amen? I pray that this message blessed you. And I thank God for changing me. I thank God for changing me. As I, as I stand here worshiping with you, I thank God. I thank God for his blood. I thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. I thank God for his body. I thank God for you, for your beloved family. I thank God for his anointing through his Holy Spirit that unifies us in his peace. I thank God for his presence that flows through us, that goes before us, that extinguishes the darts of the enemy, that cuts every devil's head off, that destroys his plots, and pushes evil far, far, far away. I thank God Almighty that this is what he is doing right now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Do you thank God with me on that? Hallelujah. And if you bless God, if you choose to bless God, if you're led to, or you want to, you want to bless God with an offering, we encourage you to go to oacchurch.com. oacchurch.com. Please visit there. They also have the other messages from the past few weeks over there too. But we also have an offering tab. And you can give through, through any, any way that's convenient for you. Above all, thank you for your obedience and your giving. Hallelujah. Listen, every, every church building needs the church body's help. Amen. I'm just being obedient and transparent with you. Amen. And please, let's keep praying. Amen. Let's keep praying. Let's keep giving. Let's keep fasting. Hallelujah. Pray, pray. Say it with me. Fast. Amen. Yes, let, let's, let's, let's do it all because Lord Jesus Christ taught us. And watch what happens, amen? Glory to God, this season is going to be gone just like that. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. And I'm so excited. I miss you, church family. I love you so, so very much. I thank God for you guys every day, amen? Every day. And I know Lord Jesus is coming back for us soon, and I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Love you. God bless you. God is good. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you guys.